Police continuing, continuing to investigate a murder-suicide that left an entire family dead. It happened early Monday. Allen police believe two brothers responsible were battling depression. As our Aaron Jones reports, it is leading to a discussion on mental illness and getting help. After posting a lengthy suicide note to Instagram, police say 19-year-old Farhan Taweed and his older brother Tanvir killed their parents, sister, and grandmother before turning the gun on themselves. In Taweed's note, he said he had been battling with depression since ninth grade, and his older brother suffered from depression as well. Taweed wrote his brother came to him in February of this year proposing they commit suicide if things don't get better and kill the rest of their family to not cause them any pain. In the 21 years I've been here, we've never had an incident like this. You know, the lockdown in general and just the lack of... Uh, uh, of communication, it, it has, it's hard. It's been hard on folks that suffer from depression or other type of, you know, mental health related issues. The CDC reports the number of people dealing with depression continues to rise and estimates around 3% of children ages 3 to 17 have regular feelings of depression. That percentage increases to almost 5% for adults 18 and over. The chief clinical officer at Dallas Children's Advocacy Center says in children, teens and young adults, a change in interests, irritability and isolation can indicate they're depressed. She encourages parents who are witnessing these signs to check in and don't be afraid to ask questions. It's always okay to say, hey, it seems like you're spending more time in your room lately. What's going on with that? She says if needed, seek professional help. Mental illness is nothing to be ashamed of. I think what stands out to me in this case is it sounds like the family did a lot of things right. They sought mental health treatment. Um, he, he was, uh, sounds like, uh, on medication for some time. And if it's still not working, what are your options? Yeah, so I think don't give up. Don't be afraid to find a therapist that's a great fit for you. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. A much needed discussion for those who are struggling with suicidal thoughts. The National Prevention uh, Suicide Prevention Lifeline, it operates 24-7, offering free and confidential support. There is also an online text option.